Right now we're looking at number 24. So we've got Fe I3 plus uh, SROH2. So the first thing we'll do is we will show what goes with what. So we know the Fe will, Fe will join with the OH. We know that the SR will join with the I. So if I draw this out, this is going to look like Fe and then three I's like this. And this is going to look like SR with two OHs. And remember that we just want one of each of these. So we'll take the FE, the I, the SR, and the OH. And the FE will join with the OH. And the SR will join with the I. Now looking at the charges, we know that I is negative one charge. So it's a total of negative three, which means that we need plus three to match it, which makes the iron three plus over here. So we've got 3 plus on the iron, we've got negative on the I, we've got OH negative, we get that off the polyatomic iron sheet. And since we've got two OH negatives here, that means that the charge on the strontium, whoops, the charge on the strontium must be plus 2, so that's plus 2 over there. So that's going to be plus 2. Alright, so we've gotten that far, we've figured out the charges. Now we need to go ahead and join them together. And the way that's going to work is we're going to have, just redraw the equation. So that's going to be FeOH3. Since we've got Fe3+, plus, we need three OH negatives to balance that out. And then we've got SR2+, plus and I-, minus, so we need two I negatives to balance out the, the SR. So it's SRI2. If we go ahead and look at the solubility chart, we'll see FeOH3 is a solid. And the rest of these here, we'll just uh, assume that they're aqueous and leave them as aqueous. All right, now we've got to balance this out. We've got, two, uh, we've got one Fe, one Fe... We've got three I's over here and only two over here. The best way to balance this out is to put a two in front of this one and a three in front of this one. It's kind of like finding a lowest common denominator. We've got two and three, it would be six. So we need uh, six of each of these to balance out. And if we've got two FE's, that means we put two in front of here. We've got three SR's, we put three in front of here. All right, so that's uh, part, part A handled. Now part B, what we're going to do is show how these split up into ions and we've got two FeI3s and as a picture they're going to look like this right, so we've got two FeI3s there we've got uh, three SROH2s and it's going to look like this Oops. There we go, three SROH2s. There we go. And the two FeOH3s, that's not going to break up into, into the, uh, ions because it's a solid, so we'll leave that the way it is. And we've got uh, three SRI2s. Alright, so going back and looking at the charges, we can grab the charges from up here. We've got negatives on each of those I's. We've got three pluses on the ions. We've got uh, negatives on the OHs. And we've got two pluses on the SRs. And again, same charges over here. Negatives on the I's and two pluses on the SRs. All right, so now when we split this up into ions, what I see is I see two Fe3 pluses, just counting them up. And we've got six, we've got six I negatives, just counting those up as well, six I minus. Over here, we've got a three SR2 plus. And we've got six OH minuses over here. 
and then we've got over here we've got uh, two FeOH3 solid which isn't going to split up and we've got three Sr2 pluses and then we've got six I's six I minus alright so this becomes the whoops this becomes the answer for part B and that's how everything splits up into ions. Uh, let's look at how this is going to go for part C. And what I'll do is I'll copy this. And I'll get rid of this here. Alright, now remember this, this is for part C that we're doing right now. So you can see what's going to happen is that the 6i negatives will cancel, the SR2 pluses will cancel, and the 2Fe3 plus plus 6OH minus gives 2FeOH3, and as we said that's a solid, and that's the final answer for part C. Remember that the the equation here, the uh, for part C is whatever it is that makes up the uh, makes up the solid, and I could shorten that down if I wanted to, make it Fe3 plus plus 3OH minus. Just dividing everything by two here gives FeOH3 solid. I don't have to do that, but that works as well. All right, so there you go. That's the answer to number 24.